What's going on? Bitwise guy here coming at you with my very first Rust tutorial. I hope to have one of these up once a month. Um, I'm going to be bringing some other tutorials in between. Uh, I know that I kind of promised deadlines and never made them, so this will be the exact same. I have no promises that I'll actually meet these deadlines, but they kind of give me like an idea and a schedule and blah blah blah. Um, so if you haven't seen, I just did a live uh, lecture kind of thing. Um, on how to think about programming and those kinds of things. Uh, those that That's currently up on my YouTube channel. Um, the first 35, 40 minutes is worth watching. Uh, when I actually jumped into code, I was kind of losing it um, and whatever else. So, you know, I wouldn't really bother watching that, but I mean, you can if you really want to. So, uh, I'll leave that for you to be the judge. Um, but let's get started. So... I won't show you how to set up Rust on uh, this tutorial as I want to get into Cargo uh, and I want to get into actually creating your first uh, Rust program. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to navigate. This assumes that you've already got Rust installed. Um, if you haven't got Rust installed, I'll be putting up a video very soon on how to uh, set up Rust under Linux, whatever distro you've got. Um, but Setting it up under Windows is a little bit more challenging at the moment. Um, the toolchain is a little bit harder to configure. Uh, not too much, just a little bit harder. Um, but nonetheless, uh, I don't have any Windows at the moment. Windows copies, so... Um, what am I doing? <laughs> Sorry, I just completely like lost it then. Um, so, first thing that you're going to want to do is open up a terminal once you've got the entire toolchain installed. Uh, and you're going to want to uh, navigate to the directory that you want to be working in. Now, a few things that are really, really cool about Rust. First thing is that it is essentially a zero project configuration uh, environment. So, Assuming this assumes that you're obviously using the cargo build manager, uh, which is which is deeply integrated into the whole ecosystem. Uh, but assuming that you are, Rust provides you with the most beautiful kind of package management system that I've ever seen. Uh, all you really need to do is to go to uh, crates.io, find the packages that you need to write your code, whether it's a MySQL library or um, whatever it might be, right, whatever graphics library or whatever you actually need, simply put it into your TOML file um, and that's it. But first thing is that Cargo allows us to scaffold our projects uh, every time. So the way you want to initialize your project is by typing Cargo New uh, and then you want to type in My Project if that's the name of your project and just hit Enter and let it do its thing. Now you'll see we've got, an, we've got a folder just here and it comes with two files. Uh, sorry, a file and a folder. Cargo.toml and src. And inside of the src folder, we've got lib.rs. So what we're going to do is navigate into the source folder. And, uh, sorry, my project. Damn caps. And we're going to say touch um, main.rs. And in one second, hopefully, that will have created our... Did it do? Whoops, wrong directory. CD source touch main.rs. Alright, so now I've got that, and I'm just going to quickly uh, delete this one. Okie dokie, so go ahead and edit those. Um, I prefer to use nano, so I'm just going to use nano for this. Um, so open your thing in whatever your preferred text editor is. Uh, and all we're going to do is do a simple hello world. So basically, just like C++, uh, the uh, Rust, all Rust programs, their entry point is the main function. Uh, in Rust, it's explicitly named main, uh, like it is in C++, um, at least for the Rust C compiler. So, that's that. Functions are defined um, with, this, with starting with the keyword fn, so you type fn, space, the function name, uh, your parameters, and then... Um, you actually have a little bit more in Rust. Your return type is actually up here, so it might be i uh, 64x or whatever. Um, but essentially, 
you, they use the pointer syntax to uh, simply say the return type. So to print something to the console, uh, we use <clears throat> macros that are predefined in the language, and the macro that we're going to be using is print line. Now, a common mistake that I kept making was this. I would say, hello world, and this looks fine, right? Like, you know, it looks like something that should work, and we'll write this out, and we'll say okay, and we'll exit it, and we'll say, uh, like this, we'll say cargo run. And it'll say, unresolved name, print ln. And you think, hmm, what's gone wrong here? <clears throat> well, two things that we've done wrong. One is that I have a really uh, bad habit in terms of Rust for naming my crates um, with using camel case. Um, they use snake case by default, I guess. Uh, it, it's not going to cause any errors or anything. It'll just warn you unless you turn that off. Um, and the second thing is you'll see unresolved name print ln. Now, you might be thinking, mm, that's weird. Well, what's actually happening is this is a macro. And we use macros to, to use macros in Rust, we simply have to put an exclamation mark before the parameters. Now, if we save this and we hit save and we exit this, when I run cargo run, it's going to have no problem. And as you can see, Right here it says cargo, hello world, running target, debug my project, hello world. So essentially that's it. That's our first Rust program. If you guys have any questions about that, I know it's super short, um, but I'm going to be doing heaps of follow-ups of these, uh, hopefully once a month. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of Rust tutorials out. The language is super new, so that's that. Um, but leave a comment in the comment section below uh, what you guys want to see. In the next video tutorial, um, we're going to be going through functions and functions return types. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.